well it's the calm start for us here in the valley but still seeing a couple thunderstorms ongoing across the mississippi and tennessee valley that's thanks to the slow pressure that is starting to weaken on out but a new one likely is to form around colorado as well as wyoming though it's likely when the low forms likely to fall along where we see this front stalled out and along this current cold front so that likely means that the jet stream is pretty far north so we should be expecting temperatures well above average the next couple of days as well as a chance for some couple storms for the middle of the week. Temperature just about average yesterday, but getting back into the 70s today and tomorrow, even likely hitting the 80s by the time we get to Wednesday, though we won't stay on that warm side as that system comes through. We'll see temperatures dip back down just about average as we finish on out the week and head on into the weekend. But with temperatures that well above average, this likely means we will see the return of some stormy weather for the middle of the week. So already Wednesday, much of the area in a slight risk, so a two out of five on the severe weather scale, where you see this little line, darker shaded line, so mainly along I-70 and north, it's likely where we're going to see a bulk of the severe weather. So basically Finley over through Youngstown, as well as Cleveland through Toledo, along Lake Erie, that's that best chance to see more of the severe weather. So not quite as widespread as what we had last weekend, but still a good chance we could see a couple storms with just a few isolated pockets of severe form day on Wednesday. Otherwise, chilly start to the morning, currently 40 here in Wheeling with our cool spot of 29 on over into Cambridge. So still need a jacket as you step out the door this morning, but won't need it by the time we get to the afternoon since we're likely seeing everywhere sitting in the 70s. 70 or high here in Wheeling with our warm spot of 75 down in Moundsville and our cool spot of 65 on over into Millersburg. And if everyone's already sitting in the 70s likely today, I do expect to see Millersburg get up to either 69 or 70 throughout the day as well. That's thanks to plenty of sunshine we're seeing throughout the morning hours, but well, once the sun does come up. So 7 a.m. predictor showing us pretty much just clear skies. We'll see some high clouds move through here and there, especially for the later half of the morning. Could see a couple light spotty showers though. Much of us will stay dry, which is the chance to see some drizzle. Mainly during those afternoon hours where we'll see mostly cloudy skies. But by the time we get to the evening, we'll see things trying to clear back out again. Anything in the way of rain is west of I-70 and north of I-70. And we'll likely see the turn of some more clouds for our day tomorrow. So temperatures still on the rise, but we'll see a little bit more clouds with a chance for some spotty drizzle tomorrow. So if you can, get outside and enjoy some of the sunshine and the warmer temperatures today and into tomorrow, as we will likely see the return of some storms, some showers, and even windy conditions for our day on Wednesday. A few of those storms could be on the low end severe. Showers wrap up Thursday morning, though temperatures will start to drop throughout the day. Temperatures just in the upper 60s after midnight. 56, partly cloudy for your feel-good Friday. And then plenty of the sunshine and back into the 60s for our day on Saturday and for our day on Sunday.